We've got to understand we can all do this, but it's going to be a mindset. I was at Lakeview High School. I'm a head coach. I'm standing in the commons area. That's a big open area in between the gym and the auditorium. And it's time for lunch. And if you're from Texas, on Wednesday we had chicken fried steak. I know maybe it's not that popular here, but in Texas, chicken fried steak's a big day. I mean, that is just a big day. Chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, gravy, and they had buttermilk pie. I couldn't wait to get to the cafeteria. I'm sitting there, and the bell rings, and I pull my wallet out, guys. Now, I've got two degrees, and I'm a head coach at a big 5A high school. I pull my wallet out. You could eat in our cafeteria for $2, and I did not have $2. And I'm thinking, I can't miss it. It's chicken fried steak day. <laughs> I run out to my car because I had some change in the ashtray, and my car was an, uh, an 84 Mazda B2000 beat up pickup that had like 200,000 miles on it. But, and for some of you young folks, you won't even understand this, but yeah, actually back then I had to stick the key in the door. And I stuck the key in the door and opened it up, laid across the seat, pulled the ashtray out, and I count out $2 worth of dirty change out of my ashtray. I'm sure nobody in here has ever done that, but I did, okay? <laughs> And I, I push the ashtray in, I close the door, I lock the door with my key, and I'm standing in the parking lot at Lakeview Centennial High School. I wish I could tell you that was the only time I'd ever done that, but it wasn't. I had dug change out of my ashtray many times in my life, but for whatever reason, this one time, I'm standing there in the parking lot of Lakeview High School looking at $2 worth of dirty change, and something hit me. Something hit me that I did not want to continue having to dig $2 out of my ashtray to eat a flipping school lunch. I wasn't sitting in a meeting like this. I was standing in a parking lot, but I just knew at that point in time, I made a decision that I'm changing my life. And see, if you'll make that decision, it doesn't matter if you're in a parking lot or if you're in a ballroom like we are. If you'll make that decision, good things will start happening. See, I believe that if we truly make a decision, great and mighty forces come to our aid. But I think the only way that happens is if you jump in the deep end. If you're just playing with it, I do not believe that's going to happen to you. If you're just playing with it, let me see if I can do this. Or Do you realize the great Jedi warrior Yoda says there's no such thing as try there's either do or do not. Guys, you've got to make a decision. I'm going to tell you right now, and it's all about right here. you just got to understand that it doesn't matter where you come from, who your parents are, what side of the tracks. I didn't have a silver spoon. I had a plastic spoon. It doesn't really make any difference. It's you making that decision that you're going to change your life. And I'm going to challenge each and every one of us to do that today. Here's what I'm going to challenge you to do. I'm going to challenge you to draw a line in the sand, and I'm going to challenge you to make a commitment to stand in the gap for your family. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you've got kids and grandkids that are watching you. You've got nieces, nephews, cousins, and friends watching you. You've got two choices here, guys. And I made this one most of my life. I made excuses. You can either make excuses or you can make money, but you can't make both. Say this with me. And I, let me say it, and then you follow me. I made my last excuse yesterday. I made my last excuse yesterday. Let's, let's say it like we mean it. I made my last excuse yesterday. I made my last excuse yesterday. If you will follow that, guys, you can do anything you set your mind to. I'm going to say it one more time. The good Lord made us in his image, and the good Lord put greatness in each and every one of you. And I'm telling you what, do it. Don't go to your grave with that greatness still in there. You show your kids and grandkids that somebody with your last name can do something special, guys. We've got a chance to change our lives. This thing is blowing up. I believe everything that Patrick said, that we've got a chance to kill it. But it's going to take you. See, here's the deal. It's going to happen with or without you. It's going to happen with or without me. But I'm telling you what, it ain't going to happen without me. I'm there. Are you there? I believe with all my heart there will be two groups of us. There's going to be the group that's glad they did, and there's going to be the group that wishes they had. God bless you guys.